What's up guys? Craig Mack here, Liberty Bell Beekeepers. I am in uh, inspection mode here today and I'm checking out my splits. April 4th I made a bunch of splits so I'm right on that edge of uh, queens being born. Um, I think I had a few go early. I spotted a virgin queen or two last week from a couple of these splits that I made. <laughs> That I know we're ready to go now we can take a look here there are so many bees in the air they're all over these boxes I think what's happened is there's a few of these that have had Queens for several days and have probably gone out on a mating flight and generally from what I understand they can bring a whole lot of bees back with them from their mating flight now I have two of these colonies this one here and this one here both looked like this one about an hour ago I know for a fact that there was a virgin queen in that box last week I don't know about this one but I'm gonna go through it I'm gonna check them now to see what we got and probably going to go ahead and add them to a nuke to a five frame box because there's a lot of bees right there and I can only imagine what's on the inside of this so I'm gonna pause grab a few things and then uh, going to uh, get checked back in with you hang on okay so this colony here actually came from the first bees that I got this is a package out of Georgia these were barnyard bees as you can see, these frames are jammed. There's bees all over the front of the box. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a look through these, see if I can spot my queen, and uh, drop these ladies into a bigger box. Let's take a look. See, there's bees everywhere up here. They're all over the fence. In the corner there. I'm going to keep an eye out for some virgin queen swarms. That's a possibility I think here uh, as I know multiple there was multiple cells in a lot of these boxes and uh, there's I guess a chance that they could do throw off some swarms get a little smoke on these there's a lot of bees in here I don't use smoke all that much Generally speaking, it is just to move them so I can grab a hold of the frames. Not really bully them with smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and set this box up here. Next to it. Put an empty frame in. Let's take a look, see what we got. I'm going to get a better angle for my camera here. You get to stare at me. So a lot of bees in this box. I like these splits because they do fill up quick. They give the queen a lot of space to build these frames to get stuck I think if I build these again I'm going to decrease the size a little bit they tend to build onto the sides of the box pretty often with these two frames and that can pre present a problem okay so I got a boatload of bees got a lot of drones on here and there's my queen Spotted her right away. She looks like she's moving pretty good. And if you can see her right there. She's making her rounds. Letting everybody know, hey, I'm back. I'm the boss. And she's a pretty one. I lost her that fast. Okay, so I'm not going to goof around too much with this. I'm going to get her in this box. 
so they can go about their business. I'll get her a mark a little bit later. It's pretty clean. Okay, so she's there on that frame. I've been giving these guys a bit of syrup, these little splits, because I was starting them with a uh, an empty frame, which you'll see right here. Because I want them to draw new wax. And they're starting to put nectar in this, or syrup. So I know they're ready. And there's a lot of bees in this box. I mean, you can see there's two frames worth of bees probably just in the side of the box. And on the front. <laughs> like I said, I think this queen was out on her flight today. And, uh... I think she brought a mess of bees back with her, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my other frame in. Now, like I said, you saw I got a, a boatload of bees on this, so I'm going to jockey these boxes around a little bit. I'm going to set this one on top. You can see this. I'm just going to set this box on top. And I'm going to brush these bees down. Most of them, if you can see, they'll start to make their way down onto the frames. But I'm going to scoop them and expedite that process. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I apologize if the camera works. Not great. Most times, if you do this gently, you can do it with little disturbance to the bees. Once they find they've got their smell, their queen in there, they'll generally just move their way down onto the frames. This is actually helping me not to have those landing boards. These ones I just drilled a hole in. There's still just a lot of bees in here. As you can see. So I'm going to just try to get these girls in this box. Just give them a tap. Try to knock them all down onto the frames. As you can see, there's still a lot of bees both of these boxes mm -hmm. and then I'll just set this one down on the front in front of this box here with the entrance up to try to inspire them to make their way up and into this new box mm -hmm. now I chose the same color I find I think that they do re have some recognition of color or shade uh, I have seen confusion before in these boxes where they've, you know, I've replaced it with a new box of a different color and there's a little confusion at the entrance uh, when the new box gets placed. But generally speaking, they'll, they'll make their way in uh, when they start to pick up the smell. I got a little bit of bee still hanging underneath it there, which is okay. Now this is one of those moments I'm going to use a little bit of smoke because I want to just get them off of this. Get them off of this rail so I'm not squishing a bunch. And they're trying to fan their pheromones, the queen's pheromones, out into the world to get all their bee buddies into this box. So I'm going to just... Try to persuade them to go. You can't always save them all. You can try to get them to move, but it doesn't always work. And unfortunately, I squished a bunch there, but it is what it is. Now, I still got a bunch of bees in this feeder, too. Um, 
which I'm probably just going to set down on the ground to uh, try to get rid of them, get them out of there. You can see they're, they're drinking up syrup. I just filled that yesterday, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to set that down on the ground as well. I'll let them drink it up. I don't care if everybody drinks it, but most of them have their own feeder at this point, and I don't have to worry too much about them being fed. Now, generally speaking, I'll put my block on here. You see, I have this one diagonal pointed. My queen right colonies are square to the lid. So that was it. I was transferring one of uh, what I think was my mating flight queens into their new box. I'm going to do the same with this colony right here. They don't have quite as many bees outside at this point, but they got a boatload inside, and I'm probably going to have to do the same for these. Because there looks like a whole... Oh, there's a queen right there. See her? I don't know if you saw her. I just spotted her. She ducked in. She's probably looking for the entrance to this place. And I don't have a clip on me either. Oh, there she is. See her? That's a newly mated queen, I believe. She's making her way down and up, uh, trying to find the entrance to this box. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can't get her to go down. If I can spot her again. As you can see, there's a, a whole mess of bees here. And I'd love to find that queen again and get her to go down in the box she's was headed up which was the wrong direction up oh, there she is I spotted her once Okay, I think I'm going to let you guys go so I can get this queen in this box and make sure everything's good to go and do this transfer. But I just wanted to show you that quick one. Uh, getting to see newly mated queens and seeing this, this mating flight behavior. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I love these two frame mating nukes. I got to thank David at Barnyard Bees. You know, his videos on these were, uh, were excellent. They always are. And... Uh, I love them. I think they work great. So far, so good this year. Uh, I got at least two or three mating flights happened today. Today, and now that uh, now that all these are happening, I should be expecting this type of behavior all week. So we'll see how it goes. As always, you can check us out on social media. Uh, all the platforms are right here on YouTube. Please like and subscribe if you choose to. And uh, keep an eye out for some more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.